What's up guys? Uh, my dad just scooped me up uh, from my office at home and let me know i just found out today that he uh, is having delivered a model y tesla and uh, i wanted to go ahead and document that for you guys and uh, he's trading in his current i think it's a 2014 model s um it does it, this was pre autopilot and some of those other features and so um this is actually his third tesla and uh, the other one he has, has all those features. And so he's basically decided that he's gonna trade in his current Model S that he has without the uh, features, the one that's a little bit older that doesn't have all the sensors and cameras that are necessary for the features like autopilot and of course the autopilot feature. And he decided now to go with a new Model Y instead so the uh, truck is already here actually so i'm going to start walking toward it and show y'all they've already backed it off the truck so we won't get to see that part of it but uh once we're in there i'll go ahead and start uh describing it but let's go ahead and take a look at the car think it's amazing <laughs> beautiful car good 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 Great acceleration nice drive so uh first impression it is a little bit narrow compared to the uh less wide compared to the uh model s the frunk is significantly smaller but obviously the the trunk is a lot larger uh, a lot of head space and for tall guys like us it's definitely a big deal there's more leg room in this one than the uh, model s I guess it's because it's uh, kind of in the crossover SUV space, right? Uh, sits a little higher. I know they were saying, you said you read somewhere that the uh, leg space was less, right? No, actually the leg space for this one and the leg space for the Model X is the same. They didn't compare it against the S. So compared to the X, it was the same. So, and the X has more space than the Model S. So I'm assuming this is better than the Model S in uh, legroom. The back seat space, I would say, is about the same as the Model F, not too different. However, the front and the dashboard uh, is totally minimal. Um, the AC vents, you can't even really tell where they are. They're kind of uh, hidden in the dashboard, which is really nice. So it's a very minimal look, really nice. Everything is controlled from the screen, including the glove box. So if you want to open the glove compartment on the side, uh, that's done through um, the screen as well. Whereas the Model S has a button for that, a dedicated button for that. So um, I don't know whether it's better or worse. I think that's, uh, that's up to you. Uh, the other thing is, is that the middle console has more compartments and space in it, which um, is way different than the Model S. The Model S is just like this big open space in the middle. And I don't know if there's any options. Again, I'm not a big Tesla buff, but um, that was one thing I wasn't crazy about because when you lay things in there, it slides around as you drive. And uh, whereas this one actually has a compartment there in the middle where you can store stuff and uh, hide them away if you need to. Uh, the delivery process with this car was a lot better. Uh, shout out to Z Transport out of San Antonio. Uh, the first time, uh, or the only time I ever experienced a delivery was that Model S that you saw that we just traded in and um, that particular transport company, I don't want to call them out and nor do I remember what company it was, uh, had multiple vehicles and a uh, gasoline vehicle actually above that Model S and it dripped motor oil all over the top of it. So that driver actually had to take the car with me to the car wash and wash it all off before he was able to turn it over to me um and eventually did but you know it was just a mess and it was late already i think i got home at like 11 p.m that day uh with the model s but uh this was definitely much more smooth yeah z transport out of san antonio 
That's the guy you need to hire to transport your vehicles, man. They're the best. There you go, Tesla, uh, Tesla Motors. Keep those guys on your list. Well, as I mentioned, I didn't know until about two minutes before we left that this car was even coming or that uh, it was on the way at all. I didn't know anything about it. But uh, uh, sorry for all you Tesla enthusiasts out there. I'm not well versed in the features. I know that uh, this one has those kind of economy wheels um, and some of the it's a dual it's a dual motor version 350 miles range okay it's got the 350 mile range which is good um, but if you guys have any questions at all about this particular uh, car or um, any specific questions about the model y in general that you think i can answer uh, go ahead and uh, go ahead and ask in the comment section below and i'll do my best to answer guys thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. Thanks, guys.